I think in order to solve problems of tomorrow, you have to understand who we are as a species, as a, as a group, and how we got to where we are today. My kind of research interest is really like landscape archaeology with like remote sensing and, and GIS tools. Cahokia Mounds is a really, really unique archaeological site, kind of at its height, 12, 1300 AD. It's one of the largest cities that in North America, definitely north of Mexico and Mesoamerica. There is evidence people were coming from far and wide gathering here for not a totally known reason, probably some type of a, a spiritual religious movement. It grew into a huge city that, you know, rivaled European cities at the time. Some of the mounds, agriculture has happened, they've been plowed over. There's all this vegetation. A lot of the features we're, we're just starting to uncover and map. Our big hope is that we can find some of those details that people have missed just because of, you know, not having access to technology that we have now. The technology that we have through the Taylor Geospatial Institute, it's very advanced. It allows us to ask questions that maybe we couldn't ask before. With our UAV LiDAR, we can get centimeter level resolution, kind of strip away vegetation, buildings. We can understand kind of the placement of some of the things within our scan area. Details that people never imagined that they would be able to capture. All of a sudden you realize like the site is way more complex than we imagined it to be. And that's part of what we're hoping to do here. Human history broadly helps us to kind of figure out what it means to be a human today. I think the more we can discover without doing like destructive excavations, the better we can preserve the site for future, bestow dignity to the site. It's really changing the way people do archaeology.